Hey, I know it's uh, been a couple of weeks since I went to the Sword and Laser mailbox. We only had one book last week, so I held it to this week. And now we've got an embarrassment of riches. One, two, three, four, five, six of these things. So here we go with no delay. And apologies if I get your release dates wrong. Make them bigger on the press release. The Hike by Drew McGarry, author of The Postmortal. This is an advanced corrected proof. This will go on sale August 2nd. Uh, my dog is approving of it or not. Not sure, actually. What's going on there? Uh, we're going to keep going, though. And go with a hardback from Tor called World's End by Will Elliott. Uh, this has got a lovely jacket art by Kakai Kotaki. Uh, when Eric Albright, a luckless London slacker, and his pal Stuart Casey went through a battered red door under a railway bridge, the last thing they expected to find was another world. Come on, you guys. When you go through a battered red door under a railway bridge, you find another world. Will Elliott knew that. You can find out what they found there in World's End. Uh, this one is coming out on March 22nd as well. Uh, so in other words, already out. On to the next one. We're just going to rip through these. Rip, like, rip through these. Such a satisfying feat. I should think. Ooh, this one's looking nice. You Belong to the Universe by Jonathan Keats, Buckminster Fuller, and the Future. Not science fiction. Well, science, but not fiction. Uh, we do have New from Oxford here. And uh, this is for immediate, or this one's coming out April 5th, if you want to know about Bucky Fuller. Onward and upward. Ooh, this one's got the debut novel from a remarkable young writer, says Neil Gaiman. That guy does know his stuff. He doesn't just say things, he means them. And it's in foil packaging. Okay. Roses and Rot, the debut novel from Cat Howard. And... It looks like this is an advanced reader copy. Yeah, on sale May 17th. A prestigious artist retreat holds dark secrets as desire for art or love are within grasp for Imogen and her sister Marin, but at a terrible price. What would you sacrifice in the name of success? Now, why does Neil Gaiman like this so much? He says, Cat Howard is a remarkable young writer, and she's written a powerful first novel as strong as Emma Bull's War for the Oaks. This is a book about family, about the price we're willing to pay for art, and the strange music and haunting glades of fairy, spelled F-A-E-R-I-E. There you go. Roses and rot. Two more to go. Two more to go. Ripping through them. That one didn't rip all the way. You'd think I'd be good enough to rip these in one go at this point, but I guess not. Ah, here we go. Another Pathfinder Tales, Hell Knight, a novel by Leanne Merciel. A high-stakes tale of warfare and family. Uh, I know a lot of you guys love this series, and this one's coming out on April 5th as well. One more to go! Let's see if I can get this in one go. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Got to be some kind of Olympic competition for that, don't you think? This is Quantum Break Zero State from Microsoft Studios, and also Tor. Uh, on sale date... April 5th, 2016. Now, here's a thing. It says embargoed until on sale date. Uh, I don't do embargoes, so I hope showing that doesn't actually break anything. But I didn't agree to it. So I won't say anything more about it. I won't show it again. But you can't just say embargo without somebody agreeing to it. Uh, anyway, that is a look at the Sword and Laser Mailbox. Thank you, everybody, for uh, sending us uh, your good wishes and good wills. We've got some plans for Sword and Laser. We've got a bunch of interviews up there. I put a book up on inkshares.com called Pilot X, if you're interested in helping me fund that. And uh, we'll be back with more mailboxes and more good science fiction and fantasy at swordandlaser.com. See you there.